this genetics, this molecular biology that was the answer to all the questions I'd ever had about everything. We were just trying to be scientists. We certainly didn't want to be seen as troublemakers. People said, what happens in the field stays in the field. It was bullying from day one. He would tell me women were altering the science on the ice for worse. What's gonna happen if I report him? What happens if I don't report him? It was getting really physical. I didn't tell anybody because who's gonna believe you? You know, nobody. Women are extraordinarily underrepresented in science. When you ask somebody, draw a picture of a scientist, it used to be all men. There's a playbook, and it was written by men. And I always felt I didn't have the playbook. <laughs> you know, I'm just feeling my way through this game. You get used to being underestimated. You get used to being invisible. These are great scientists. How can they not believe this? Many of the women that I've spoken to have left. This is the leaky pipeline. They cannot say the evidence doesn't exist. So I thought, OK, I have to show them it's true. So I wrote, there's a kind of systemic and invisible discrimination against women. Can we really afford to lose those top scientists? He just needs to look at the data. That's what he'd want us to do for his science. You cannot do everything on your own. You need enough of your allies to make something happen. I expected to fight alone. I didn't expect anybody else to fight with me. Together, we can do better. Let's move away from a culture of compliance and towards a culture of change. If you don't have women, you've lost half the best people. Look at the talent of these women. This is worth fighting for.